In this video, I'm going to talk about XRM Toolbox. Now, what is XRM Toolbox? XRM Toolbox is basically a Windows-based application built in using .NET technology. Now, XRM Toolbox consists of more than 350 plus tools as of now, as of March 2024. Now, this tools basically contains functionality to ease the customization configuration administration optimization of power platform or dynamics 365 environment now this is a free link to download this tool xrm toolbox it's a free tool it's uh, all the community members contribute to the development of this particular tools and it can be used by developers IT admins, citizen developers, connect, uh, and also, uh, you know, these tools uh, basically uh, are categorized into various sections, like based on uh, if the functionality or tools uh, pertaining uh, to user interface or for troubleshooting, or is it related to some technologies like the Power Pages, Power BI, Power Automate, or there are some tools which are dedicated to plugins or migration or documentation or customization, configuration, comparison or data management tools. So tools are categorized based on their behavior. Now there are many tools within XRM Toolbox and as a Dynamics 365 developer or uh, solution architect or technical lead, uh, it's a must uh, have tool in your arsenal for uh, building solutions in Dynamics 365 and Power Platform. Now, before you even start with, you need to start connecting to the environment. So you connect to the Microsoft Dataverse or Dynamics CRM instances. And then from that point onwards, you will get the context of your environment and then you can start uh, operating on various applications or flows or migrations or any processes related to your particular environment. Now, uh, XRM, now XRM is like, how you know CRM is customer relationship management. Now like this, there are many relationship management tool and XRM caters to all of them. And that's why the word X is appended in front of RM. Now, this tool uh, has been developed like uh, a decade back and there are a lot of enhancement which is happening in this uh, environment and many uh, users or like uh, citizen developers or uh, professional devs are contributing to this tool. Now it eases the development activity. When I say it eases the development activity means uh, there are many things which you cannot do in Power Platform user interface uh, or there are many things which Microsoft Power Platform allows you to do, but then it will allow you to go to some depth. Okay, if you want to go to it to some more depth beyond that, then this tool will be helpful for all your developments or troubleshooting or um, customization or configuration related activities. XRM Toolbox, this is how it looks. So what the process is basically, you go into the website, you download the zip file and you unzip those file and then there is a exe within that called as xrm toolbox.exe and then you click on it and then the uh, xrm toolbox appears now by default there won't be any tools available within your toolbox so what you need to do is like you need to go into the tool library and then start downloading those tool one by one depending on your need as you do not want all the 300 tools to be within your system what you can do is like based on your use case or your need go into the library and then start downloading corresponding tools now this is how the tools look like you can even uninstall the tool if you do not want to use it further within your development process now tools are categorized into comparison configuration customization data development documentation migration plugins and uh, security solutions user interface so there are many things which you can do uh, within the xrm toolbox so let's uh, jump into the application let me show you the live demo so let's let me first navigate to the url and i'll show you the process to download so let me go into google and just type in XRM toolbox. Okay. 
Now here, if I click on XRM toolbox link, then uh, I can see that I can navigate to xrmtoolbox.com. Now, why I was not able to access the first time is because it was not HTTPS. Now this is an HTTPS. And now here you can see the basic introduction. XRM toolbox is a Windows app that connects to the dataverse, CE applications, Dynamics 365 for sales, service, talent. Uh, and this entire portal is also built using Power Pages. So if you see over here, it looks like a familiar interface uh, for a Power Pages site. And when once you click on sign in, you can see that this is how the Power Pages sign in authentication page looks like. Okay. So that's also some, some cool functionality for XRM Toolbox website. Now here, uh, you can see that it's a download latest version. So what you can do, as you see over here in the status bar, if you observe over here, then it, it gives you the XRM toolbox.zip. So it's a zip file. So you, what you do is like you unzip that file and then start executing those XRM toolbox um, functionalities. So here uh, you can go through this uh, documentation and then it gives you more information about the XRM toolbox. So what we are gonna do is like, like I've already downloaded it and I've kept it in one folder, Seagirish software and here XRM toolbox, these are the set of files which are available as a part of XRM toolbox executable. So here, uh, there are a lot of DLLs and uh, all these DLLs are cool, but then you are only import, uh, uh, like say, concerned with this part, xrmtoolbox.exe. The moment you click on it, XRM Toolbox application will be triggered. Now there is an, another exe, like XRM Toolbox gets frequent update in a month or twice a month. Then if you run this, then auto updater will automatically update all the toolbox uh, application as well as the tools functionality. Uh, if there are any updates provided by the owner, then you can even extract those functionality from the system. Now, XRM toolbox. So what I'll do, I'll just open this and it will start loading XRM toolbox. It says that ultimate set of tools for Dataverse and Dynamics 365 uh, and it will show you the version number as well. So now once the tool is loaded, the second step is like you will be presented with a screen. Now, as I've already used some of the tools, that's why I can see over here and recently used tool for you, it will be blank. And the first step, what you need to do is like here, you will see something called as not connected. Okay. So here I have two connection for Giri prod environment and Girish dev environment. Now for you, you won't see anything over here. Just click on create new connection. The moment you do a create new connection, click on Microsoft login control. Now there are other uh, login method as well, but I would prefer Microsoft login control. If you click on Microsoft login control, it says use default configuration or provide your own details, but click on my open Microsoft login control. And then once you click over here, you can select office 365. Either you can sign in as a current user uh, or you can say show advance, or then you can say display list of available organization and you can just click on login. The moment you click on login, it will ask you for authentication. Okay. Here you will provide the sign in details. And once you are connected, then it will list down all the environments present within your uh, uh, tenant. Now I'll not connect because I've already established that connection. So I'll just cancel this, cancel this out. I will just say, let me connect to my environment. So I'll click on this environment and click on connect. Now it will start retrieving environments from the power platform. And then it will say, now I'm connected, I'm connected. So the first step is you establish that connection to your specific environment. And then there are various options. You can see tools over here. So if you do not see this tools option, let me close this start page. Okay. Now here under windows, so there are multiple options. One is connect, then there is windows option. If you want to close the correct correct window or if you want to show the start page, like this is a start page, just close this, show the start page. Uh, and then there is a configuration whereby you will see tool library. So if you click on tool library, then it will list down the tool library. So this is like, just assume that this is like kind of a store which hosts all the different uh, tools available within the XRM toolbox. Now, 
this thing like it's a huge list it's like 300 plus list now for this you can either sort by name or by date when it was launched or you can search so if you want to search by say email okay then it will only list down the tools which has emails references so there is a mailbox manager there is an email anonymizer well security patcher etc and if you want to see uh, the tools uh, say specific to mvps or uh, which has open source tools only so you can select on that and then you will be able to see all the open uh, source tools uh, if you want to see the tools built by mvps then you can see that uh, here you will see the top rated tools so top rated tools uh, you can see any tool which has come recently in the last like couple of months then you can see that so there is one power bi option set value to text converter so this is that tool and also now uh, it will show you tools which are not yet installed okay so if you want to see tools which are not yet installed then click on this if you want to see show tools already installed then you can select this and you can see show tools with update so here once i selected this it shows shows tool which are already uh, installed okay now what i can do is like maybe i'll just select various options over here i'll select all these options uh, maybe i'll i'll just remove some of the check boxes and new is fine let me uh, select this oh okay so i need to uh, show the tools which are installed over here okay so email anonymizer is one of the tools so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna just select this tool and uh, you will see that there are uh, options to install uninstall uh, and do some other operation and there are some other details like which version number uh, this particular tool uh, has okay so those all things we can do now as i've already installed this tool i don't see an install option i can only uninstall this tool so let me close this tool library and then again navigate to this tool library okay now here let me select the tool which i haven't installed okay so let me select this attribute manager okay now this is attribute manager tool now this is uh, you can see the latest release was on 22nd of the 12th 2023 and the first release was in 2016 now in order to install this tool attribute manager i'll click on install and then it will start downloading the attribute manager tool from the backend repository to my system and it will start installing and once that is installed as you see over here there is a green tick available against that tool once that is done yes my tool is installed i'll click on close now how do we access this tools so you can navigate to the tools over here and just start typing attribute attribute manager now once you click on attribute manager this attribute manager tool will get lighted up and then you can do various operations in this particular tool now i'm not going to go into each and every tool because that's for another day i'll be covering some of the uh, major xrm tools which you should know in uh, my upcoming videos but this is just a starting point for you to understand how xrm toolbox operate now there are other operations which you can do in the uh, options in the menu bar called as open environment you can open the makeup portal you can impersonate as another user and under help you will see uh, various help available for uh, the specific tool which you have just opened like the attribute manager or you can even check for update for xrm toolbox so if you want to see what version of xrm toolbox is present is you can see from here 1.2023 12 68 so this is how you can view the version and if you want to change the environment so if you want to go from your dev to prod you can select and then you can connect over here alternatively if your password changes you can even click on edit and then this login pops up and then you can update the connection as well so that's it folks this is a basic introduction about xrm toolbox it has a whole bunch of repository and we are going to cover some of the tools uh, within uh, xrm toolbox uh, in my upcoming videos thanks for watching